Hey, Brian here with WorshipTutorials.com. Today I have a Helix patch for you that is a little different than any of the other Helix patches that we have made before, and it's one that I'm very excited about. I've actually been sort of, this one has been in the works for a long time, and it solves a problem that I think can be pretty significant for a lot of you and a lot of churches. It's called the Singer-Songwriter Helix patch. So really quickly in a nutshell what it does, it processes your uh, vocals and your acoustic guitar completely separately and sends them out separate outputs and it gives you sort of just straight out of the helix a really polished uh, vocal and acoustic guitar sound. So I'm going to demonstrate what it sounds like for you and then we can get into like what is in the chain uh, in the helix exactly and how you can uh, make it work best for you. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I know a lot of worship leaders, and I was in this situation for many, many years as a worship leader. You're in a church, maybe you don't have a lot of resources, either financially or with personnel. So for example, you don't have a soundboard that has built-in compressors on every channel, built-in reverb and delay on every channel, uh, or even on buses that you can use for vocals or for instruments, and, and or, or both of these together, you don't have a sound person who's experienced in the use of EQ, compression, delay, that kind of thing. So what this patch will allow you to do is send to your board a finished sort of polished vocal and guitar. So you can tell your, uh, your sound person or before, you know, you can set it up yourself. Uh, you can just set the board flat and all you need to do is adjust the input level of the channel so that you're not clipping it. And what you can give to the board is, is like what you want to hear through the PA. So that person running the board doesn't have to, to go through an EQ. Now certainly, um, you know, you might want to EQ your board to your room. Every room is going to be different. So, you know, you may want to use a little EQ uh, on the board, but what you get coming out of the Helix is going to be close to the finish line, if you want to think of it that way. The other application I could see is, um, if you like to go you know, and play like open mic nights or coffee house kind of gigs, that kind of thing, uh, you can just bring one piece of equipment and a guitar and you know, hey, plug, I'm gonna plug my mic into this, set your board, you know, turn the effects off, set it flat. Uh, what I'm gonna give you is kind of where I want the finished sound. You, know, you could say that if you have a gig, you know, like if you're playing at a coffee shop or a restaurant, something like that, uh, just guitar and vocal. Um, it's perfect for that kind of situation as well. So I think this is really going to be beneficial to a lot of you out there who are in those situations. I know it's going to be beneficial to me. I can think of a number of situations where personally I would like to use this patch, which is why I built it, um, <laughs> to uh, to use it. And I just thought, you know, a lot of people are, are in this boat, if you will. Okay, so like I said earlier, this patch will process your guitar and your vocals completely separately. Now, before we get into this, I want to make a note. If you own a Helix LT, this patch is not going to work uh, like it's uh, designed to work with the Helix floor model or the rack model out of the box. And the reason is the floor model 
uh, just the the original Helix that came out is called the Helix Floor, the one that's sort of the all-in-one. It includes a mic preamp, a physical mic preamp that you can plug a microphone into, and uh, the the LT version doesn't. So if you want to use this with an LT, you actually can for uh, pretty inexpensively. All you need is a, a microphone preamp. Uh, I, I've linked to one below that will work well that is currently about $55. It's the Art Tube MP preamp. And all you do is plug your microphone into that, take the XLR out uh, from that, and run it into the XLR input of your Helix LT. The top path of this patch is the acoustic guitar processing. It uses the guitar input, so all you do is run your acoustic guitar uh, straight out of just the regular output of your guitar. My output jack is a little loose, I need to tighten that. And then run it into the guitar in of your Helix. And then you run your microphone, which uh, is over here. I used an SM, uh, a Beta 58, a Shure Beta 58 for this demo. Uh, it's gonna sound a lot like the, the Shure SM 58 that I'm sure a lot of you use in your churches, but you know, for live use, most people use a dynamic mic. You take the microphone and run it into uh, the mic input in the Helix, and then the Helix will do the rest, it'll process everything. It will send the guitar output out the uh, the quarter inch output. So the quarter inch left, uh, if you're running mono, just take the left out quarter inch, run it to your board, and then it will send the microphone output out the XLR output. Uh, so again, just take the left XLR out, run it to your board, and you're set. And this is what it does to, uh, let's start with the guitar. So on the bottom row of the Helix, you can see down here, are the, Hel the guitar effects. So you've got a quarter note delay, and it's set to your tap. You've got dotted eighth delay. So you can run them both together. You can hear them kind of dance together. Uh, you've got a reverb that's always on. Uh, I think it's a plate reverb that's always on, but then there is a modulated reverb sound that you get. So just a big reverb. Uh, the next thing you can do is a swells button. You can use your reverbs and delays on with your swell if you want. And this will just give you guitar swells. And that is set to uh, to, to, to trail when you turn it off as well. Finally, there's a looper in there as well, so you can do you know loops, and if that's kind of your thing, to do looping guitar stuff while you sing, that's available to you. Uh, and the looper in the Helix is great. Okay, there are a few effects on the acoustic guitar chain that are uh, not available uh, at your feet. Two of them are EQs. Uh, the first EQ, one, one is sort of the, the basic uh, acoustic EQ that I use, you know, for, it's going to work well for most acoustic guitars. The other EQ, and there's a README file that you get when you download this patch, it will tell you exactly which ones are which. The other one is like, if you need a little more high end with your guitar, you can turn it on. Uh, kind of whatever fits your acoustic guitar best. There's also a compressor that is sort of always on and... Uh, that's about it. I did not use the second uh, EQ with my guitar because this, I have a LR Bags Anthem in this. This is a D35 and I feel that it, you know, it doesn't need more high end, but if your guitar does, that's available to you uh, as well. So next let's talk about the vocal processing. So you heard in the demo, you heard it sort of all on or all off versus all on. Uh, and there was a massive difference. So the vocal stuff is all across the top. The first thing you hit is a, uh, so you run into the microphone preamp in the Helix. And then my Helix has, I set the mic input level to plus 12 uh, on the mic in level. That's in the global settings on the ins and outs. You can uh, experiment with that for your voice. I sing pretty loud. Uh, so if you're a quieter singer, you might want to up turn that up. Or if you have a hotter microphone, you might want to turn it down. Uh, kind of whatever fits your setup the best. The first thing it hits is the tube mic preamp in the Helix itself. That's always on. Kind of gives the signal a little bit of a juice, I guess you could think of it. Um, the next thing are two EQs. One is sort of a, uh, a vocal EQ that's going to sound good with pretty much any vocalist. You know, when you, when you have a, uh, a vocal chain, <clears throat> sort of the, the EQ rule is you boost some high end, 
you remove low end, you, you, and you remove a little bit around four or 500 hertz. That's where a lot of mud, uh, muddy frequencies for vocals live. So that the first EQ will do that. The second EQ, and the first one is not set to a foot switch. The second EQ is this presence button. So if you are a male vocalist with a lower voice or a female vocalist with a lower voice, and you feel like you need a little more top end on your voice, you can turn that on. I like it on for me personally. Uh, if you have sort of a higher pitched voice, uh, either male or female, um, it kind of just depends on the tone of the individual's voice. Uh, you might not want that. It might be a little too much high end for you. So that can be either on or off. <clears throat> and then we hit, uh, there's a, after the, the EQs is a compressor that's always on. And then we hit the, um, the reverbs and delays. And so the first, now when I processed this vocal, I sort of did what I do to my acoustic guitar videos. And it's similar to what a lot of, um, you know, audio engineers are going to do in a live setting. For a more intimate sound, there is a slapback delay. And a slap delay is used a lot. And it's just going to make your vocal sound bigger and thicker uh, and kind of warmer, actually. So um, that's sort of my always on kind of delay while I'm singing. And then there's a plate reverb. That's sort of my always on reverb when I'm singing like a, a, a more intimate sound. If you sing a bigger song or you just want more of the wet effects, you can turn on the uh, dot or the, the eighth note delay. It's gonna give you more delay, more repeats. And then there is a big verb button as well. And that will just give you bigger reverb on your voice. So finally, I've put a snapshot function in this in this patch and I think the snapshots actually work really well for this because um, you can uh, adjust the vocal effects. So the, the idea is when you're singing a song you want reverb and delay. When you're just talking to people and not singing, like if you're a worship leader and you're setting up a song before you know you sing it, uh, you don't want reverb and delay on your voice, it's weird. So um, what I've done with snapshots is I've set snapshots to control the vocal effects. And the way I like to set the Helix up for this application is to have the snapshots on the top and stomps on the bottom. That gives you access to um, acoustic effects via stomp boxes and then snapshots for your vocal. So the first snapshot is soft vocal. That's gonna give you the slap delay and the, the smaller reverb. The next one is big vocal. That's going to give you the bigger delay and the bigger reverb. So you can, you know, wherever you like to use those wetter effects, you can turn them on. The fourth snapshot is called speaking. And so with one button push, you turn all your wet effects off so you can speak and it's not going to sound like you're in a cave or, you know, there's an echo in the room. Okay, so I wanted to demonstrate for you how this patch uh, sounds, sort of how the snapshots work. Uh, I've I've moved away from I have a room mic up here and that's what you were hearing for most of this video now you're hearing the audio through this uh, Sure beta 58 microphone so you can see I'm on the snapshot mode and I am in the speaking mode uh, I'll show you why you don't want to just uh, speak with effects on because it sounds like this it's a little strange especially if you have this one on uh, people are like hey there's an echo and a delay it's not it's not what you want so this is the speaking uh, snapshot. Here's the soft vocal snapshot. So you can hear there's like a, a slapback delay and a little bit of reverb. Here's the big vocal. So you can hear that echo and delay happening. Uh, if you go into snapshot mode, you can just see, you can stack all these together. Here's everything on. Check. So it's, you know, big. And if you play, play and sing a little bit, Amazing grace, how sweet. It's probably a little too much. See, that's where you want. You don't want that much reverb and delay. <laughs> this is why you don't want everything on while you talk as well. So, you know, you can just go the um, more intimate sound. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Okay, so that's just in really quick in a nutshell how the vocal snapshots work and how it sounds 
in practice. If you have any questions about this, please let me know. You can ask below here on uh, YouTube in the comments, or if you're on the website at Worship Tutorials, please feel free to, to ask a question, or you can send an email in through the contact form there. Uh, thank you so much for watching. There's a link to download below. See you in the next one.